Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on understanding Pinnacle 21 issues in SDTM datasets. Note that this video is part of the playlist which is titled Pinnacle 21 issues. So if you are watching this video as the starting point, I suggest you to watch the previous videos in this playlist as I have covered some details extensively in the previous videos. So we will see an example related to AE dataset in this uh, video. So we are looking at the issues which is AST, AE STDTCs after AE ENDTC which is nothing but the start date of an adverse event is reported as after the end date. Similarly, AE STDY is after AE ENDY. The study day corresponding to the start date of the event is after the end date. So which is technically not correct because the start cannot be after the end. So we do encounter these kind of issues when there are data issues in our data. So let's see the example data that I have created. I have created this example using uh, the data from SDTM IG 3.3 as an example. So here if we see uh, let's go back to the issue only. So here if we see the on the record uh, 2 AE STDY is 1 and AE ENDY is minus 1 and on the second record it says uh, for AE STDTC it is 13th October 2005 1 5 p.m. and whereas the end date is reported as 12th October 13th October in the start date and 12th October in the end date. So let us try to import this data and then try to run the pay 21 report so i have created a program to import the data which i have copied into an excel file and then convert it into an xpt file so i'll run this to create my xpt file i'll go to the pinnacle 21 i'll close the previous instances so i have used the data from ig 3.3 as an example so i chose the configuration as sttm ig 3.3 here so let us select the XPT file that is created. So let us run the validation report. So it says there are around 24 messages generated out of which we are only interested in a few of them. So let us go to the detail sheet. If we see, so when we ran the report based on the data which we modified and used from IG 3.3 so 13th versus 12th so those two messages got triggered let us say that we have queried these two our uh, teams wherein who are responsible for collecting this data so let us say this is now fixed okay saying that once we queried they let's say they have corrected the data as for the end date as 13th October but 7 p.m. which is 19 even in 24 hour clock so it started on 13th October at 1 5 p.m. and ended on 7 p.m. on the same day so now when we get the date fixed we will also have the study day fixed so let's say this got fixed in the raw data and we have rerun our STTM data set and then let's try to use this updated data set to generate our P21 report and see if those two issues related to start date versus end date and study day of start versus end day is resolved. So let us go to our import program and then try to get the updated sheet. So here I have created the XPT file based on our updated data. So let us try to import that and then generate the P21 report again. So we had 24 messages earlier. Now there are 22 messages hoping that those two messages are resolved now. So let us open the report and then see if those two specific issues which we were looking for which were related to AESTDTC versus AENDTC and AESTDY and AE E and DY are resolved. So if we now see there are no those two messages are disappeared. So if we see there were two entries here which were related to these two messages but in the updated file when we ran the report those two messages are not there. So these kind of issues are mostly related to the raw data issues. So we can get these queried from the data management team and have them corrected at the source. And once they are fixed at the source, we will regenerate the data set and then run the P21 report and these messages should be fixed. So thank you for watching and keep learning.